Lit, you uh, you said earlier that uh, you were from the executive branch and you would not attempt to tell Congress how to do its job, and we appreciate that. Uh, Article 1, Section 5, Clause 2 of the Constitution gives Congress the power to determine the rules of its proceedings. In your view, does the rulemaking clause give Congress the authority to determine how to share classified information with and between its members, and if not, on what basis and to what extent do you believe the President's powers circumscribe the explicit constitutional authority? So I'm getting a little bit out of my comfort zone here, sir, on, in the, uh, on the legal interpretation. But um, I think my view on this is that this is one of those areas where each, um, each branch has the right to exercise its own powers, which is to say that and, – and the problem with that approach is that that frequently leads to collisions. So that, for example, if – the Congress, and, and, and this is a pure, purely hypothetical example, if the Congress pa uh, imposed a rule that said um, you can do a limited briefing but we're, we retain the right to tell everybody else in the membership or everybody else on the committee about it, and the executive didn't like that, the executive might say, well then, okay, we're going to exercise our constitutional power to protect national security information and we're not going to brief you, at which point the Congress might exercise its constitutional power of the purse and say, well, we're not going to fund these activities. And that's not a productive uh, approach to governance in my view, and that's why I said earlier, I think in response to Mr. Thornberry's question, that, that these are the sorts of things that need to be worked out by a process of accommodation and compromise between the branches. Well, and, and I agree. I mean, I think, you know, given <clears throat> this respect, uh, Congress and, and the executive branch uh, need to work together to set out the framework for notification. Um, what role does the president have in the process to determine what, if, if uh, anything, should be uh, uh, briefed? Ultimately, the president is, is, is responsible uh, for, the, you know, for all of the national security apparatus. Um, I, I think the, the, you know, to a great extent it's delegated downward. I, 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 I would be surprised if the president himself personally participates in a lot of these decisions, but, but ultimately, as with everything in the executive branch, it's his responsibility. The notification, notification to Congress is, as a practical matter, carried out with a degree of latitude, and we've just established that, and as a result of consultation and cooperation between the branches on how to handle sensitive uh, matters. Uh, do you think it helps such consultation and cooperation when members of Congress say that the CIA lies all the time? Um, I would hope that everybody would, would approach um, the, the, the consultation and notification uh, process in a spirit of cooperation. And a follow-up question to uh, Mr. Schiff's uh, earlier round of questions as to what would trigger uh, a notification, and I think everybody was trying to go down the, the route of when, when a, a, uh, something is funded, and I think there was a comment, significant amount of dollars. Can you explain what significant amount of money is? Well, that, you, you, that I think your question, sir, highlights the why I, I keep saying this is a matter of judgment. Um, because obviously a significant amount of money is, it, the, you, there, there's no algorithm that you can plug in to determine what's significant. And, and what's a significant amount of money may differ depending upon what agency you're talking about. What's, what's a significant amount of money for the National Reconnaissance Office may be different than what's a, signi a significant amount of money for the, for the uh, intelligence component of, of the Department of Energy or, or the State Department. So I don't think you can, you can quantify that uh, in, with any number that would be meaningful across the entire intelligence. Community. Well, and, and I don't think you can either, and I think that's that's why we, we are having the discussion that we're having uh, today. One final question. Other than the CI Inspector General's report on the Peru shoot-down, are you aware of any substantiated instance in which it has been established that Congress was deliberately provided with false information with respect to intelligence activities? And other than the CIA Inspector General's report on the Peru shoot-down, are you aware of any substantiated finding that the intelligence community systematically misleads or has misled Congress? I am not aware of any such finding. 